There are thousands of dams in the states and provinces surrounding the Great Lakes. In May, the Edenville Dam near Midland, Michigan failed, two years after regulators pulled its license, citing safety concerns. We asked two journalists from the news site MLive to tell us what they saw covering the story. They knew that, you know, rain was coming, you know, it was an area prone to flooding. We had all that huge rain and it was just inevitable. Everybody got an emergency alert on their phone saying, get out now, evacuate immediately. The failure of the Edenville Dam on May 19th was captured on video. There it goes. There it goes. The 21 and a half billion gallons of water in Wixom Lake poured through the breach dam. There we go, there's the rush. Wixom Lake floods out and it's pushing out into the Titabwasi River. There was just crazy amounts of debris, trees, uh, pontoon boats. I'm, I mean, it was just insane how much debris was being pulled with all this water pressure just dragging everything along with it. The flood water and debris rushed downstream seven miles to the Sanford Dam, which was quickly overtopped. The water started to overflow, started to breach the dam, and we ended up getting evacuated out of there shortly after that, before it actually failed. The whole town of Sanford was underwater. When the flood water finally drained to Lake Huron, Wixom and Sanford lakes were empty, and the town of Sanford was in bad shape. Most of their downtown is just completely like destroyed, or the buildings are marked for demolition. Roads are completely, you know, just riddled and washed up. Houses completely gone. Right now, um, a lot of the community is in the process of, you know, working with FEMA, working with their insurance companies, seeing, you know, how they can, um, you know, get some help. Right now, you have some high profile lawyers, and they're filing uh, what's called mass tort lawsuits, um, you know, against the dam owners. The failures have also raised concerns about dam safety around Michigan and the Great Lakes region. MLive has reported on the long history of conflict between federal regulators and the dam's owners. And Great Lakes Now has covered the story on our website. We looked at how Michigan's dam safety department compares to other states around the Great Lakes. And the answer is, it's got fewer staff and less funding. We also reported on how a combination of climate change and poor infrastructure played a major part in the dam breach. The Midland Dam incident is just one snapshot of a much larger picture. At Great Lakes Now, we aim to cover the Great Lakes region and the people who live here, like you. Please follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our newsletter at greatlakesnow.org.